What's up, my ninjas? Uh, I accidentally bumped into this bitch <laughs> on everything. I was just getting ready to close out the last episode, and uh, I had stopped recording. And I walked through a couple doors, and I ended up in this room. And I realized I hadn't saved, so I figured might as well just go ahead and uh get funky, right? You know. Um. So. That's what we getting ready to do. We're about to fight. But that's here right now. Lego. Liara's here because she wants to be, not because I asked her to. Indeed. What have you told him about me, Liara? Hmm. What could I say, mother? That you're insane? Evil? That's why you Should got our brows. Should I kill you? What could I say? Have you faced because your mama got our brows. before? Few humans have. Uh doesn't matter. I can't believe you'd kill your own daughter. I now realize I should have been stricter with her. Damn! Talk about biotic power. But straight up though, I'm not worried about these damn commandos. They should worry about me though. Cause uh everything you can do, I can do better. Let me show you. Damn! <laughs> Fuck them up. Yeah. Okay, she got a power level list going on. So you okay? It's getting lower and lower because I'm fucking you up. Okay, well, not you per se, but your uh, subordinates. Ooh, somebody about to snipe my dumb ass. That's all right though. Oh, that was spectacularly This easy. is not over. Saren is unstoppable. My mind is filled with his light. Everything is clear. The Rachni didn't cooperate with you. Why should I? I will not betray him. You will. You... You must listen. Saren still whispers in my mind. I can fight his compulsions briefly, but the indoctrination is strong. Huh. So you're under Saren's con Okay, I get it. So he got your ass because they got him. So y'all both under Reaper control. Why are you able to break free of his control now? I sealed a part of my mind away from the indoctrination, saving it for a moment when I could help destroy him. It will not last long. We met Shiala on Pharos. She told us about Sovereign's indoctrination. It is a terror to be trapped in your mind, to beat upon the glass as your hands torture and murder. I was powerless, nothing but a tool for Saren. He sent me here to find the location of the Mu Relay. Its position was lost thousands of years ago. How does something that big go missing? 
4,000 years ago, a star nearby went supernova. The shockwave propelled the relay out of its system, but did not damage it. Interesting. Its precise vector and speed are impossible to determine. As millennia passed, the nebula created by the nova enveloped the relay. It is difficult to find any cold object in interstellar space, particularly something swathed in hot dust and radiation. Interesting. So that's why you hear... Someone on Novaria found it? 2,000 years ago, the Rachni inhabited that region of our galaxy. They discovered the relay. The Rachni can share memories across generations. Queens inherit the knowledge of their mothers. I took the location of the relay from the Queen's mind. I was not gentle. I never realized how good the writing was on this series because that is extremely well written. So he was coming to get to the recognized mind because they pass on memories from generation to generation so you can find a location or something. It's ingenious. You can still make it right. Give me the information. I was not myself, but I should have been stronger. I transcribed the data to an OSD. Take it, please. Knowing the relay's coordinates is not enough. Do you know where he planned to go from there? Saren wouldn't tell me his destination. But you must find out quickly. I transmitted the coordinates to him before you arrived. You have to stop me. I, I can't. His teeth are at my ear. Fingers on my spine. You should, you should, oh, you should. Mother, I don't leave. Fight him. Oh. You've always made me proud, Liara. Die. Dude, that is like a lot sadder than I thought it was going to be. Airbiotics are ridiculously strong. But my eyes are no slouch, so let's see what happens. Get her with that damp and then maybe that'll work. Apparently so. Oh my god. <laughs> And I actually managed that one, huh? Why are the commandos still attacking? Damn, they just be running up on your ass, huh? I cannot go on. You will have to stop him, Shepard. Hold on. We've got Nedigel. Maybe we can... No. He is still in my mind. I am not entirely myself. I never will be again. Hmm. Mother. Good night, little wing. I will see you again with the dawn. By the cottage. No light. They always said there would be a. That's creepy as hell. Turn and shoot <laughs> on everything. That's what I would do. Bop, I would already shot. 
This one serves as our voice. We cannot sing. Not in these low spaces. Your musics are colorless. My musics are... Okay. Musics? What? Your way of communicating is strange. Flat. It does not color the air. When we speak, one moves all. We are the mother. We sing for those left behind. The children you thought silenced. We are Rachni. Okay. How are you speaking through her? Our kind sing through touchings of thought. We pluck the strings and the other understands. She is weak to urging. She has colors we have no names for. But she is ending. Her music is bittersweet. It is beautiful. The children we birthed were stolen from us before they could learn to sing. They are lost to silence. End their suffering. They cannot be saved. They will only cause harm as they are. What's wrong? I don't understand. Why are your children killing people? These needlemen. They stole our eggs from us. They sought to turn our children into beasts of war. Claws with no songs of their own. Our elders are comfortable with silence. Children know only fear if no one sings to them. Fear has shattered their minds. I understand. A child left alone in a closet until she is 16 would not be sane. So you want me to kill them? Okay. If you're sure they can't be saved. It is lamentable, but necessary. Do what you must. Before you deal with our children, we stand before you. What will you sing? Will you release us? Are we to fade away once more? Look, those tanks, acid. Strong enough to kill anything, no matter its biology. They wouldn't have installed that if they weren't afraid of the consequences of her getting loose. They made a mistake. They let the Krogan go too far. This is a chance for us to atone. She has done nothing to us. Your companions hear the truth. You have the power to free us. Or return our people to the silence of memory. Honestly, you got, you, mm, I've been trying to kill me for a while, but I can't, genocide's not my thing. I won't destroy your entire race. You'll go free. You will give us the chance that to compose a new? We will remember. We will sing of your forgiveness to our children. You better. Well, if you don't, don't, please believe I got a good memory. I'm gonna remember that shit. And every time I see a bug, I'm killing it. Experience out the ass, money out the ass, we doing all right. Wonder if we gotta shoot our way up out of here. Now that we found what we was looking for. Oh, I leveled a couple times and didn't pay attention, huh? Okay, so uh, da, 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 da. just throw some stuff real quick. Uh, I wanna actually take time to do these, so I'll do I'll do these later save now and then I'll upgrade myself once we get on the ship so I can take my time and do it right you can do it baby do it tonight regardless though um, the security here hates me now cuz I screwed up and uh, the uh, other
other Ragnar that she was just talking about, they're still gonna attack. Fuck all that. I ain't got time for that. Uh, the other Ragnar are still gonna attack because she said they're pissed and they're scared and confused. The security's gonna attack because I broke protocols and I've killed a bunch of security at this point. So I'm guessing we're gonna have to fight our way out of here. It would be dope, however, if as soon as I leave out of here, it just took me back to the ship. That'd be incredible. But I sincerely doubt that. So. spend most of this time trying to figure out how to get out of here <laughs> oh it looks like a straight shot whoa okay wait hold on there's three hostiles that way we don't need to worry about them look at that here's the damn tram let's go we out of here good job ladies we did a lot better than I was expecting us to. Sorry about your mom. You and me gonna have a little talk about that as soon as we get to the ship I already know. And maybe we might even consummate. I don't know. Aha! Fade to black indeed. <laughs> Let's do that. What's our next move, Commander? Head for the Mew Relay? Oh, man, not yet. We gotta take stock first. The Mew Relay could link to dozens of systems. Unless we know exactly where Saren's going, we'd just be wasting our time. The Commander is right. We cannot rush off blind. We still need to learn more about Saren. Who put you in charge? Did the Commander resign when I wasn't looking? Whoa, what's up with this jealousy, bitch? You better chill. We're all on the same team here, Williams. She's just trying to help. Sorry, Commander. It's all right. This is a tough mission. You tripping though? We're all on edge. Everyone, go get some rest. Crew dismissed. Ovaria report is away, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the council? Yeah, go ahead. Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. Is this report accurate, Commander? You found Rachni on Novaria? And then release the Queen. Do you have any idea what you've done? How many generations until they overrun the galaxy? This Queen is different. She understands why her kind had to be wiped out last time around. I hope you're right, Shepard. Our children's children will pay the price if you're not. We'll be waiting for your next report, Commander. So y'all playing a long time for real, because you won't even be here for that. And considering the lifespan of some of y'all, that's a very long time from now. So, you can shut up and get out of my face with that. Real though. Alright, I'm gonna holler at the crew. Cause, uh, that last mission was a bit tedious. What's up, Joker? Why am I glad to be off of Novaria? I don't know which was worse, the cold or the corporations. One will freeze your balls off, and the other will sell them out from under you. With all due respect, Commander. <laughs> I have to go. Alright, see ya. I'm thinking. Every time I come to the ship, first thing I'm going to do is go see Joker, because he always has something funny to say. And I neglected Joker a lot, so I won't do that this playthrough. Also, I will not neglect my girlfriend, so that would be the first person I go to see. Because I'm sentimental after all. So, And after all, her mom did just meet an unfortunate fate. So gotta go check on your significant other even though we haven't made anything official yet call it epic, epic foreshadowing if you are here to talk about Benezia's death you need not bother she brought it upon herself oh no 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 sweetheart don't use that defense mechanism don't baby. pretend it doesn't back. bother you she was your mother she was but she was not. 
I prefer to remember Benezia as she used to be, before she was corrupted by Sovereign's power. The best of your mother lives on in you. Her determination, her intelligence, her strength. That is kind of you to say. I appreciate your concern, but I am fine. Benezia chose her path, just as I have chosen mine. I am with you until the end, Shepard. I like talking with you, Liara, no matter what the subject. You have been very understanding with me, Shepard. Very patient. I appreciate that. I know there are some strange beliefs about my people. I am familiar with the legend of Asari promiscuity, but those rumors have little basis in fact. When one of my people joins with an individual from another species, it is a very deep and spiritual exchange. We do not enter lightly into a union. Interesting. You make it sound almost mystical. A true union goes far beyond an ordinary melding. It is a connection that transcends the physical universe. Two become one. Thoughts and senses merge, identities intertwine. Memories and emotions weave themselves together, becoming entangled in a single, rapturous whole. It is unlike any other experience. In some cases, it can be a truly life-changing event. And how incredibly sexy is that? How do people turn down um, this romance choice, honestly? It sounds amazing. Are you saying... No. Oh, no. Uh, I am not very good at this, am I? I'm sorry, Shepard. I am trying to explain why I have been so... reserved. The Union is more than just sex. It is the lifeblood of my species, the way we Asari evolve and grow as a society. That is why I have never... Uh, I mean, that is why we must choose our partners with great care. Take your time, boo. I understand. I want you to be absolutely sure about this, Liara. I am only 106, barely an adult by Asari standards, and I spend most of my time absorbed in my research. I never really thought about it. Not until I met you. Ooh. You are very special to me, Shepard. Likewise. But with all that's happened, Saren, the Geth, the Reapers, I do not know if we are ready for this. Yeah, especially what happened to your mom, too, boo. These are dark times, Liara. Maybe once all this is over. I'm glad you understand, Shepard. There is too much at stake. We need to put aside our personal feelings and focus on stopping Saren. I wish we'll it did not have to be that way. We'll do both. But we all have to make sacrifices. No, I'm not making let's, that sacrifice. Let's talk about something else. Because there are only two Asari in the entire galaxy that have eyebrows, and one of them's dead now. So I got to head up. I should one. go. Goodbye, Shepard. Mm hmm I'll be back. Don't worry. There's gonna be some consummation. Believe that. So, let's do stock. I'm not gonna do stock with everybody. I'm just gonna hit the people that's in my near vicinity and then we're gonna make our way Anything to Vermeer. Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? I didn't figure you'd have time to talk with all that's going on. There's got to be some xenobiologists who want to read about the Thorian. The paperwork will keep. Something on your mind? I'm just looking for an ear. That a briefing wasn't the right place to say how ridiculous this is. Seems like every other race in the galaxy is wrapped up in their own problems. They don't want to see what's coming. Wanting to believe everything will be fine? Sounds like human nature to me. Yeah, I guess some things carry across species well enough. I should remember that after what happened with Vernus. I think you'd carry a grudge over the crap you took from Vernus. Before I met Vernus, I knew as much as any other civilian. Aliens were weird, superior, and tried to tell us what to do. I mean, it's only been 26 years since first contact. It's not a lot of time to understand them. But it was Vernus who made me see how human Damn, humans really? are. They're not different or special. They're jerks and saints, just like us. Hell, by the time I That's got no paid, time at I all. didn't even want it anymore. Huh. 
I don't see you snapping very I could have swore that it was a lot more didn't. time between first Get contact and now. Broke her arm. She reached for a glass of water instead of pulling it biotically. She just wanted a drink without getting a nosebleed. You know? Like an idiot, I stood up. Didn't know what I was gonna do. Just something. And Vernus lost it. Beat the crap out of me. He kept shouting how they should have bombed us back to the Stone Age. And that's when the knife came up. A military issue talent. Right in my face. I cut loose. Full biotic kick right in the teeth. Almost as strong as I can manage now. At 17, that's something. You wanted to help a girl you cared for. That's a noble thing. Maybe my intentions were noble, but I... I lost control. I killed him, Shepard. Snapped his neck. They probably could have saved him if they got him to an infirmary quick enough. But they didn't. Caused a stir when they shipped him home. Bot training was shut down. Kinetics folded a couple of years later. So, yeah, maybe I hated that Turian. I mean, if one ass was enough to judge a whole race, I'd hate humans, too. A reasonable stance. Keep that level head and we'll do fine. Staying reasonable is about all we've got left. Everyone else in this galaxy seems to have gone out of their minds. Present company accepted, of course. Oh, man. I hate to admit this, but this playthrough is making me like Caden more than Ashley. <laughs> and I usually always pick Ashley to live. It's weird. I don't know, guys. It, it might be Caden. I usually pick Ashley out of romance, but. Since so I know for a fact that I'm doing Liara the whole way through, I don't know. Before we get going, should we go do some side missions? Because uh, I got a feeling like Burmeyer's going to just straight up get ready to. Yeah, I think Burmeyer's going to be the last mission. Yeah, I'm thinking it's time to do some assignments because um, I don't want to end the game yet. And Vermeer is some serious stuff right there. So let me take stock with the rest of the crew first and then uh, we'll go ahead and get ready to shut it down and kick some, kick some more Geth ass and whoop on Siren and all that. But I think I should go ahead and take stock with the rest of the crew now. Oh man, I'm really debating now. Because Caden is interesting and I never really got to know him as a character. And I always looked at him as if he was boring and stuff, but now he's kind of interesting. And people have been telling me that. But Ashley's interesting too. She she does poetry and stuff. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, maybe this will help me decide. Let's go straight to Ashley. And then see what she says. Commander? We need to talk with you. You have a few minutes to talk one on one. Sure. I was just watching some mail from home. Oh, before I go, we saw Caden in a news vid about the Normandy. He's cute. Later, sis. Let's pretend this never happened. That's funny. Are you interested in the lieutenant, Chief? Of course not, sir. Fraternization is against regulations. What's up? You didn't come by to eavesdrop on family mail. Your family seems to be important to you. Yeah, we've always been close. Me and my sisters especially. With Dad on duty so much, I had to help Mom raise them. That sucks. After helping raise them, your sisters still talk to you? Amazing. Things were tense between Sarah and me for a while. Then we bonded. Sounds like your father wasn't around much. Wasn't your family stationed near him? Dad always wanted to serve in space, but he wanted us to have real ground under our feet. 
He'd say, space is beautiful, but you can't raise a family there. Mm. I cannot rest from travel. I will drink life to the lees. All times I've enjoyed greatly have suffered greatly, both with those that love me and alone. For always roaming with a hungry heart, much have I seen and known. Cities of men and manners, climates, councils, governments. I never thought I'd hear you reciting poetry. Just because I can drill you between the eyes at a hundred meters doesn't mean I can't like sensitive stuff. Just don't spread it around. Ulysses was my dad's favorite poem. Mm -hmm. Every time he shipped out, and these are the reasons why I keep it. her. Oh, he had a dozen I'm still torn this way through because. Does he like still that. like it? I sure hope so. I read it to his grave every time I go home. Dad passed on a few years back. He's probably still watching though. You mean from wherever we go after death? Dead on Skipper. He's with God now. That's not a problem with you, is it? That I believe in God? No, I do too. You know that old saw, there's never an atheist in a foxhole? I've been in a lot of foxholes. Yeah, I guess you have. I've met a few people who were really weirded out by my faith. Because I work in space, I can't believe in a higher power. Jeez. Hello, have you people looked out the window? How can you look at this galaxy and not believe in something? Hmm. I should get back to my duties. Didn't mean to take up so much of your time. Dismissed, you didn't. Chief. You actually... Sir. Just... Damn it, made my life a little bit harder as far... <laughs> but carry in. Let me holler at you. Maybe you give me some perspective. You. You've been with CSEC a while. Have you seen much action? Well, not as much as you, but... Yeah, I've seen some interesting things. I'll bet you have. Anything in particular that stands out? I remember this Solarian geneticist I was sent to investigate. That case was a bit disturbing. What happened? Why were you investigating them? I was tasked with tracking black market trade on the Citadel. Most of it harmless, nothing I needed to pursue. But during the course of my investigation, I noticed an increase in the trade of body parts. Oh. Organs, mostly. We usually get a few of those, but not the numbers I was seeing. We weren't sure if there was a new black market lab or if some freak was harvesting organs from citizens. You've seen this before on the Citadel? Every so often, some lab sells unwanted parts through the black market. But they're not as bad as the psychos. I remember this one Elcor diplomat we caught in my first year on the job. He was hacking people up and selling their organs. Had the station in a bit of a panic. But this case wasn't that clear cut. Turns out there was more going on than we first realized. So how did you That's figure out what was happening? First, we got a hold of a sample and ran DNA tests. The weird thing was, the match led us to a Turian who was still alive and was very convinced he'd never lost his liver. After a bit of digging, I discovered this Turian worked briefly for Dr. Salion, the geneticist. Uh -huh. So I went to his lab hoping to find evidence of cloned organ development. But there was nothing. No Salarian hearts, no Turian livers, not one Krogan testicle. <laughs> You're kidding, right? Why would anyone want Krogan testicles? That's a good question. Some Krogan believe that testicle transplants can increase their virility, counteract the effects of the genophage. Oh. It doesn't work, but that doesn't stop them from buying. They'll pay up to 10,000 credits each. That's 40,000 for a full set. Wait, Somebody's wait, wait, wait. Out there. They, wait, Kro okay. So, wait, 10, Krogan's got four nuts? That's, whoa. Okay. What did you do about the geneticist? I brought in some of his employees for interrogation to see if I could get them to talk. While I was interviewing one of them, I came across something suspicious. You mean threatened? Was that really necessary? Maybe, maybe not. Either way, it paid off. One of my detainees started bleeding profusely during the interview. We offered to patch him up and he got frantic, freaked out. I ordered a full exam out what was going on. Our medics found incisions all over his body, some of them fresh. Damn. That was our big break. These people weren't just Dr. Salion's employees. They were test tubes. Walking, living test tubes. That's fucked up. He was growing parts inside these people? Exactly. 
grown their organs right inside their own bodies. Then he harvested them and sold them off. Wow, bro. So the victims were poor. He'd pay them each a small percentage of the sales, but only if the organs were good. Sometimes an organ wouldn't grow properly, so he'd just leave it in them. Most of them were a mess, but only on the inside, hidden so nobody could see it. I hope he got what he deserved. That's the worst part. We never caught him. What? Why not? What the hell happened? <laughs> he ran, blew his lab, grabbed some of his employees, and headed for the nearest space dock. By the time I found out, his ship was already leaving. He threatened to kill his hostages if we tried to stop him. But you went after him anyway, right? I ordered Citadel Defense to shoot him down, but CSEC headquarters countermanded my order. They were worried about the hostages, worried about civilian casualties, and the ship was destroyed so close to the Citadel. I told them those hostages were dead anyway. He just used them to make more organs. They wouldn't miss him. Well, you can't get them all. No, but letting him get away like that. All they had to do was disable that ship, stop him from running. Maybe the hostages die, maybe they don't, but at least we stopped the bastard responsible for it all. I agree. A few casualties is a small price to pay to stop someone like that. Yeah, exactly. I mean, those hostages might be wishing they died by now anyway. Just wish I could have stopped him. That's all. Me too. I gotta go. Commander. I, I'm not sure, but please tell me there's an option to pursue Looking that. Looking for supplies? Yes. Let's see what you've got. You bet, Commander. Uh, nothing really of worth or merit. Um, I'm going to go check on a couple more crew members and then go ahead and wrap this episode out. And then we'll head to Vermeer. I'll probably knock the side missions out off camera. Shepard, I'm glad you're here. Hey! Good to see you smiling again. How can you tell? <laughs> how can you tell? I'm sleeping much better now. I guess I'm getting used to how quiet your ship is. I still think a lot about my pilgrimage, though. I know Starin's our top priority. But with all the worlds we go to, I was hoping to find something to bring back to the flotilla. You will. We've still got a long way to go. You'll find something to take back. Yes, but it cannot just be some derelict ship my people can use for salvage. It has to be more than that. There's a lot expected of me. What's so special about you? It's Damn, my father. that's how cool. He's the senior member of the Admiralty Board. He's one of only five people who can overrule the decisions of the Conclave for the good of the migrant fleet. My father is responsible for the lives of 17 million people. Our entire race is in his hands, and I'm his only child. Oh. So are you some kind of heir to the Quarian throne or something? No, it doesn't work that way. My father's position isn't hereditary. I'll probably never serve on the Admiralty board myself. Officially, I'm just the same as any other citizen. But it doesn't work that way in practice. People have always treated me differently because of who my father is. I dig it. It must be tough on you. My people place a high value on family and ancestry. There's an unspoken expectation that I'll live up to my father's example. Everyone's waiting for me to do something great on my pilgrimage. Something that will forever change our lives for the better. If I don't, it's like I failed. And that reflects badly on both me and my father. The work you're doing here is more important than anything any Quarian has ever done before. Yes, I know. But you have to understand Quarian culture. We're a very insular society. The events beyond the flotilla don't much matter to the average citizen. Hmm. Our greatest dream is that one day we'll return so like to our town home and drive out again. Everybody but knows even your if name. we stop Saren, that's not going to happen. There's still millions of Geth behind the veil. Until they're gone, our exile will continue. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's not how it's what would you work, need to sweetheart? bring back to make everyone happy? Something that would help us better understand the Geth. They've changed significantly since the exile. They've continued to evolve. We've done our best to study them, but it's not easy. They're very reclusive. Until recently, they never went beyond the borders of the Vale. And all the Geth we run into now are under Saren's control. We'd need to find Geth operating on their own, independently. But I don't want this to get in the way of our mission, Shepard. First, we stop Saren. 
Then I'll worry about my own problems. I should go. See you later. Don't worry, ladies and gentlemen. We will take care of all of that. And it will go a lot better than she'd expect then. So, um, go ahead and close this out now. And as usual, I'm going to do my thing where I look at the camera. Like this, right here. In fact, I want to make it creepier, so let's go in the corner and do a like idea. Alright, that's right. Look at that handsome man right there. You see that handsome shepherd right there? Oh, okay, there we go. No, hold on. Alright, cool. So, like, subscribe, comment, please. Um, it helps me out tremendously. And as always, keep it funky. And later, my ninjas.